Hey guys, Pack Bonnie 36 here. Man, you know I just grabbed one of those those games I got and suddenly it was so heavy I fell off on the, my bed. Well, you know, anyways, those those games I got were my Wii games. That's right. All of those Wii games I got, I kept it since I was 12 years, since 2012, yes. I was 12 years old when I owned the Wii and I brought some, I brought like, I got whole collections of Wii games. From Mario games, Sonic games, I got a Wii Sport, and some other games. So, so without further ado, I'm gonna show you the, the Mario Wii games I, I got since I was 12 years old. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna rank them and what I think about the games. So yeah, let's get on to that. Okay, so this is, okay, I'm gonna show you this. This game right here is WarioWare Smooth Moves. I play this all the time. I remember I was 13 years old when I asked my mom to give me money to buy any Wii games at the flea market. So I went to, I went to every other section uh, at the flea market and then suddenly I found this type of Mario WarioWare. I've seen this gameplays on YouTubes, old YouTubes, and I was like, oh, I, I always wanted to play this. I search high, I search low, and then I found this. This is a very good game. Um, I gave it to 8 out of 10. And it's just a bunch of, like, this game, of this WarioWare games, you know about this. Every move's there, so yeah. Okay, next one. Super Mario Galaxy. Yes, my favorite game all the time, Super Mario Galaxy. Can you believe I, it's, this is the very longest gameplay I, I played it for days, and another day, and another day, and um, when I open it up, and this is a very big manual here. That's a very big manual. It's all the instructions, that's it. You guys remember Club Nintendo? A very old website, Club, old club. Or you can own like the free Wii games or other merchandise. That's a very good time. And you know, I remember, I remember I usually um, get raged about in this game. I get raged when I was like 12 years old. And then, and then for like in the mid fall, in the middle of fall, I passed the game. I passed the whole entire game. I was like, oh my god, my it's over. I'm done. After all this after all these months, I can't believe I passed it. So yeah. That's my favorite game. Ten out of ten. Next one is well I kinda like it. It's it's super paper Mario. Um with the Nintendo selected thing. And this, well, I usually kind of play a little bit time, but I haven't got a chance to complete the whole entire game. But because it's too much, um, I don't know, all of the where, all of the side scrolling and confusing mechanics so I give it a 6 out of 10. Next one, oh, Mario Party 9. Yes, Mario Party 9, my favorite game, Mario Party game all time, all of all the time. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This this game gives me I remember when I I I remember when I seen the commercial of Mario Party 9 on TV when I was 12 when I watched Nickelodeon or yeah Nickelodeon uh, but, and I seen this commercial Mario Party 9 and I, and I always wanted it I always wanted it and then suddenly I go to Walmart and I finally bought this and I had so much fun playing it 
the reason why I like this because because all the colorful characters here. Oh man, I just wish I would have played this again. If only I had to get my Wii. If only I had to uh, get an old TV and I st I got a Wii console. Don't worry, but I need an old TV. This the TV I got. I don't know. I don't know if I could do that. Anyways. Yes, another Nintendo Select section, Mario Super Sluggers, or some people call it Super Mario Sluggers, I mean, um, I don't think that's, that doesn't sound right, so let's just call it Mario Super Sluggers. Anyways, oh yeah, I ranked that game 10 out of 10, Mario Party 9. And this one is also 10 out of 10. Why? Because, because I have so much fun. Sometimes I get rage. Yeah, I get rage so much. So this, so this Mar Mario Super Slugger is a baseball game of Mario. Well, there's some other Mario sports games, you know, on the Wii or GameCube. And uh, this is what this look like right here. And some instruction manuals. Uh, my favorite. My favorite. Next one. Oh boy. Mario Party 8. Mario Party 8. <sighs> you know, I give this a 7 out of 10 because some of the mini games are kind of suck, you know? And the spinning water bottles. Yeah, it's kind of suck. That flea market costs forty dollars. This is crazy. This is crazy. Seven out of ten. Next one is Mark Oh, wait. Oh, this is Mario Kart Wii. See, okay, look. Let me explain. I went to GameStop and I searched up Mario Kart Wii. I asked a coworker if you got any Mario Kart Wii games, and he said yes. He showed me this. It's a cover with a disc. Mario Kart Wii. So I'm like, okay, I'm, it's too bad I didn't get the actual um, cover of Mario Kart Wii. But that's okay. This is what they got. So I still played it. I get raged. I give it an 8 out of 10. Okay. Okay. We're gonna do some Sonic games I got on the Wii. Let's do it. Here they are. I only got one, two, three, four, five Sonic games I got on the Wii. Okay, this is the this Sonic Rider Zero Gravity. Um, you know I don't know how to explain this. It's a um, it's like a, a board racing Sonic game where you play as all the characters and you like doing things like skateboarding. This type of Sonic game I got. Well, I was, I did kind of, yeah, I kind of like it. I give this a 7 out of 10. Next one. Oh boy, my favorite. But it's a little hard. Sonic and a Black Knight. This is so much fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. I was 14 years old when I got this game, Sonic and a Black Knight. I did, I did pass it. Yeah, I, I did pass it. But the whole entire Sonic boss battle characters are too hard. I tried high, I tried low, so I did, I did pass it. Trust me, I did. Now I'm gonna share this other Sonic game that I did pass. Okay, I give this a 10 out of 10. Next one is, um, well, Sega Superstar Tennis with a bunch of Sega characters like Super Monkey Ball, Sonic, and some others. 
And, um, well, I don't know any of these characters, no. Do you? No. I only know Sonic, that's it. And some other Sega characters from other Sega games? Well, I have, I did play it and I uh, decided eh, it's too cheesy. 5 out of 10. Next, okay. The next one, Sonic Colors. I beat it. Not This is not the one I want to show you. This is the Sonic game. I love this. I was 14 years old. I really love this. I, I did beat it. I did beat it. I like the whole entire game, the music, everything. Even these. Even these characters. Oh man, this is my favorite. Oh boy, this. See this? Yeah. 10 out of 10. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for, I'm going to show you this other Sonic game that I really love and I did complete it and some I get I did get raged. Sonic and the Secret Rings, my favorite. I uh, seven rings in hands. <clears throat> Y'all know that song Seven Rings in Hands from the Sonic and the Secret Rings? That song, man, who doesn't love this? Really, who doesn't love this? You know, I did. You know, I, I did tell you I get raged because of the boss battles, and I and I and I also love the cutscenes as well, including then the Sonic and the Black Knight. And you know, I haven't played Sonic Unleashed. I, I think it's on a yeah, I think it's on a Wii. Oh, Sonic Unleashed. So, 10 out of 10. Okay, I'm gonna show you this other games. It's a Mario and Sonic game. And let me show you. Mario and Sonic and the Olympic Games. You know, I... Oh yeah, it's Beijing 2008. This is from 2008. And yeah, this, this type of Mario and Sonic game, well, I did kinda like it, you know. This is the actual, the actual disc. I kind of know that that some of the uh, games, like some of the, uh, I got two other Sonic Mario and Sonic games. Oh, let me show you. Hold on. Oh yeah, seven out of ten. Okay, the next game is Mario and Sonic and the... Oh, wait a second. This is the same thing I got. <sighs> Pretty sure it doesn't like... <laughs> Mario and Sonic and the Olympic Winter Games. I... This is my favorite all the time. My favorite all the time, Mario and Sonic games. It's the Olympic Winter Games. Look, I know, I know I got the same cover, but look, someone from the flea market gave me a, a different Sonic game here. Suddenly, yeah, it came with the Olympic Winter Games instead of this. So, oh yeah, nine out of 10. Okay, the next one, Mario and Sonic in the 2012, oh wait, at the London 2012 Olympic Games. You know, I really like the cover, that's yellow, and it's Mario and Sonic. This was released Timeless 2012. This is my favorite, yeah. You know, yeah, no instructions, just a disc. I don't know why they didn't give me the instructions. And um, they include some, they, yeah, they include all the games here. Uh, 10 out of 10. Really love this. Yeah. I'm going to show you this other game that I don't, that's not Mario and Sonic. 
Everybody knows Super Smash Brothers. Y'all remember Super Smash Brothers Brawl? <laughs> oh my hand. I remember that I I was invited by this eight year old kid who 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 still who has this game as well, and we did play it together at his house. Yeah, we did play together. We uh, we do some adventures mode. Um, we do adventure mode. We do everything in this game. Oh man, yo, though this intro, that intro was very powerful. It's very very masterpiece. Ten out of ten. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna. That's all the Mario and Sonic games I got on the Wii. I'm gonna show you some other games I, I own. I'm gonna rank them and, and why I didn't play them. So let's get on with it. Okay. <clears throat> this I got is Rock Band Two. This is the first time I played this uh, rock and roll games. I, I was like 13 years old or 14 years old. It's this rated T for Teen. And um, and I remember this. I remember I, I got this at the GameStop. Someone they tell they tell me, do you have a, a do you have like a guitar controller? And I said yes, I did. So, and he was like, okay, um, I did pay it, and I got this. Got this game, Rock Band Two. I I was too too lazy to do uh, medium mode or expert mode. No, I a hard mode and expert mode. I tried other songs, and some of the songs I listened from the Rock Band Two was Modus uh, Float On uh, Today and um, mm -hmm. yeah I think that's it okay then this and this another this is another guitar game Guitar Hero World Tour you know I do have a guitar I still kept I still kept the guitar here but this game I did play it so this this might be seven out of ten and this one is seven out of ten. So I give both of these guitar games seven out of ten. I'm gonna show you this guitar. Okay, I'm gonna show you this. This is the guitar. The guitar here. Sorry about that. This is the whole entire guitar that I that I used for Rock Band 2 and, and Guitar Hero World Tour. I did play like this. Yeah. As you can see right here, you can insert your Wii remote right here. I did find this. I was lucky to find this for the Wii. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I don't remember where I found this. Probably a flea market or something. So anyways, let's get on with another game. Okay, next one, Lego Star Wars, a complete saga. You know, I, you know, I don't know much anything about Star Wars. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know anything about Star Wars here. I don't know why I own this one. I don't know why. But yeah, I did play it. Um, I follow the story and I don't know what to do here. So I give this a 5 out of 10. The next one, the second game, God is Boom Blocks. The Boom Blocks, I don't know why they put a sticker here. Yeah, this is the Boom Blocks. I played it. I did have fun playing this game, literally. This is the best game I played. So, you know, it's not that bad. It's, it's probably like shooting like shooting the blocks here. It's kind of fun. I gave this a 7 out of 10. Next one, whew, everybody, everybody prepare yourself. 
Angry Birds Trilogy. Oh my gosh, Angry Birds Trilogy. This was released timeless since the Angry Bird games released. Since I played Angry Birds on my uh, on my old iPod, I own an iPod when I was twelve. I did play Angry Birds, and then and then I did I did switch to play Angry Bird Angry Birds on a Wii. They, they include um, classic Angry Birds, Angry Birds Rio, and Angry Birds Season. Yeah, that's that's what they that's what it's all they got in this game. They put this in a Wii. Ten out of ten. <clears throat> The next one is, hmm, which one I got? Oh yeah, GT Pro Series. This is the third game I owned as a, when I was 12. It's a racing game. It's pretty classic here. I don't know what, I don't know why I want to play this. Literally, I don't know why. Ugh, I'm sorry. I don't know why it doesn't get out. Sorry about that. So, so I did play this. I did play this, and I give this a six out of ten. Next one, this hunting game, I got. You know, you know, it came out. It came in with a big box. I want to show you what I mean. See this? Yeah, I kept this box. I did kept this box since 2014. I I bought this since 2014. It came with a game like this. It's the same thing. I did hunt some animals. I really do. I love this game. Ten out of ten. Also, I don't know where I put my gun. Yeah. Okay. The next one. Hold on. It's this this one again. We sport. We sport. That I that I play We sport. Yes, it's a We sport. Once again, I got this from GameStop, and then they gave me this case instead of the We sport case. Yeah, I love We sport. <laughs> Everybody loves Wii Sport. <laughs> oh my god, this is so much fun. I, I did enjoy, enjoy this game. 10 out of 10. Okay. This is the final Wii game. The final Wii game. And it's the first Wii game I played when I was 12 years old. Rubik's Cube, Rubik's World, Rubik's World, the first ever Wii game I own, and it's very, very hard, it's very hard, the whole puzzle thing confuses me, literally everything just confuses me, and I give it to Four out of ten. So yeah, guys, that is all the Wii game, Wii games I got. So, tell me in the comments what what Wii games that you kept for for the first time that you got a Wii. So I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.